Hi friends, it's Meredith here with Not Just For Boys Kit Club and I am here today with instructions how to put together the Midsummer Dream page layout. And first I'm gonna show you what's included in your page kit. The first thing that you're gonna get that's not laying out here is a sheet of instructions for you to follow and that will have cutting guides on it for cutting the papers. And this is what's going to be in your kit, the product that comes in your kit. You're gonna get one of these little lemon patches and you're gonna get a set of these P13 light chipboard elements. They are little thin chip, uh, I think they're chipboard. Well, yeah, they are chipboard because it says chipboard. They almost look like wood veneer, but they're chipboard. Little uh, banners, there's five of them. You're gonna get one pack of the new Simple Story Summer Lovin' Bits and Pieces. There's 63 pieces in here, all those different icons of summer. It's just loaded with different summer icons. And then you're gonna get one pack of the 49 and Market chipboard shapes. There's 55 pieces in here. There's mostly words and a few hearts in just different rainbow colors, but mostly words. Um, there's some cursive words, there's some little words on papers, whoops, on chipboard like this. And there's 55 pieces, they're amazing. All the different colors of the rainbow. And the papers that you're going to receive are this 49 and Market. Um, it's Painted Foundations Kaleidoscope from the Spectrum Sherbert line. And this is what the back looks like. It's yellow, shades of yellow, but the front is like a, star, a sunburst shape of rainbow. And then you're going to get this 49 and Market sheet also from the Spectrum Sherbert line, and it's the solids orange make that orange pop in this paper and then you're going to get this 49 market spectrum sherbert line and it's called painted foundations patchwork and it's really cool it has like stitching in it stitching um it's not physical stitching but it's it looks like stitching on the on the page and then you're going to get one sheet of the basil turquoise mist cardstock and one sheet of smooth white cardstock. So those are all the pieces that are gonna come in your kit, some of the latest and greatest from some of the new summer lines out right now here. And the first thing that you're going to wanna do is open your instructions and refer to the cutting guides on the back to trim, trim your papers down and do all of that cutting first. And I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. Alrighty friends, I have all my papers cut and I am using these to represent my photographs when we're making this layout. And we've got three three by four photos that are going land or portrait orientation and two three by four, three by four photos that are going landscape orientation. And we're gonna start with the left hand side which uses these two. And what we're going to do is go ahead and there's a white sheet of paper in your kit and you're gonna go ahead and map all five of your photos on that white sheet of paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this paper down right now and map all five photos. And before I actually adhere the photos down onto the paper, I am going to take my ink and I'm going to use a yellow ink and the one that I am using is um, Distress Oxide ink and it's called Fossilized Amber but you can use any yellow color of ink that you want. And I'm going to take these photo mats and ink the edges. So I've got my fossilized amber ink pad. And you can probably use a lot of different colors because there is so many, there are so many colors in this layout, like all the pastel colors of the rainbow basically are in this layout. So you can choose any color you'd like. I just chose yellow because there wasn't a whole bunch of yellow in these papers and I wanted some of the yellow embellishments to pop and that's why I chose yellow. But you could use any color that, um, that comes out of the paper or the embellishments or your pictures to do this part. So once you've got all of your photo mats inked, you can go ahead and mat your photos on them and I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. So I've got my pictures matted here and we are going to start putting this layout together. And the first thing that we're going to start with on the left hand side of this layout is this paper that you've gutted and you're going to adhere. You're going to get all these little strips. You have tons of strips. You have branding strips, you have 
strips that you've cut off papers to make them the right size. And you're gonna get the two of these. And that's what we're gonna use for this side. So I will adhere this right here, just like that in the middle to the scudded paper. And then we're gonna start working on all these um, little tiny strips of paper. They kind of, when all together, they kind of add a pretty good size element down the side of this page. And I really like the way it looks. So we can just kind of start adhering. Um, you might want to lay them out and see what order you want them in, if there's particular pattern that you want showing more than another. I am just going to start adhering and I'm not going to put adhesive up to the very ends of these strips because once I get everything down, I'm going to trim off the bits that are hanging over right there because some of these strips are only as long as that they don't go to the top so i'm not going to adhere quite all the way to the very end <clears throat> but just layer these up those were a couple branding strips this piece right here was a quarter of an inch that got cut off um, I have one of these papers. I don't remember which one it came off of. This is another branding strip here. And you can put these in any order. They don't have to be like any particular place. I know there was a yellow one. Yeah, I really wanted to make sure to add in this yellow one that we cut off because, um, I really wanted to pull some yellow in this layout. That's why, again, why I matted my pictures on yellow as well. Okay, and then probably this guy I'll put last. And I didn't use all of these strips that I've got going on here. Um, but I used um, one, two, three, four, five, six of them, I think six of them and then I'll show you what I mean see some of them are going all the way to the edge there but some of them aren't I'm just gonna go in with my scissors and trim this down to trim those little few extra pieces off and I'll do the same thing on this side Got paper flying everywhere. There, now it's all lined up nice. Get rid of all those little scraps. Okay, and then we are going to take these two pieces, and what I just did is I tore down towards me because I wanted a little rough look there, so I tore towards me. I'm exposing the white center of this orange one. The blue cardstock is solid core, so it doesn't have a white core. But that's okay. And then I adhered both of these on the layout. And I kind of staggered them. The orange was like that. And this teal was starting up a little bit higher up here instead of down there with the orange. And then I adhered my pictures on top of that. Mm, I started with one right about there and the other one overlapping down there. And that is the bones of this side of the layout. And next we can come in with embellishments and start adding the embellishments to this layout. So we'll do that right now. We're gonna grab a little, I'm just gonna grab all the embellishments. So I'm off to the side and pick out the pieces that I'm going to need and that I'm going to use. And I'm actually gonna pick out the pieces that I use for the other side too while I'm doing this. Okay, so we'll start with the lemon because that's really easy. We use the lemon on this piece and we're actually going to use this cut apart tag, the back of the packaging, you're just going to cut it where it shows you and then use a regular standard size hole punch. 
to punch the hole and we're gonna use this tag. We're gonna use, we're gonna cut off about the bottom three quarters of an inch. So go ahead and cut off about three quarters of an inch off of the bottom. And that will be on this side and the rest of the tag is going to be on the other side of the layout. But we've got that part done. Okay, and then these, we're gonna use two of these. So they are very fragile. You could just cut them. It's almost like they're real thin wood, but it's calling it chipboard on the package. But it's also made in Poland, so their word for chipboard might be a little different than our word for chipboard. Like it doesn't feel like chipboard, it feels like wood. I don't know. They're very cool though. And you can even use this packaging to mount a photo or something on another layout. But you have three left to use another layout. So we're gonna use one on this layout and then we'll use one on the other side. And next we will go to, I think we'll go through these embellishments next. So I know I used this one on the other side and you don't need to use the exact same pieces that I'm using. Um, it depends what pictures you have really. You should use whichever of these embellishments are going to better coordinate with your pictures. Like for instance, I have um, pictures that I made my layout with of us eating. So and um, so and we're on vacation. So I used a map. I used some food. I used an avocado, even though we weren't eating avocados. I used the staying cool. Um, yeah, but if you have pictures of a hose or outside at a barbecue or, you know, anything like that at nighttime with fireflies, we don't have fireflies where I live, but there are cute, cute fireflies in this pack of embellishments. I really wanted to use them, but it really kind of made no sense with my pictures. So let's see, I know I want to use that one. If, you, if your pictures are of a lemonade stand, um, I know I need to use this one. I know I wanna use that one. So yeah, just use whichever, um, whichever embellishments match your pictures. And that's how you should choose which ones to use. Let me see if I've got all these. Mm -hmm. I think I've got all of them for that side. I think I've got them all. So there's a lot left in this pack. Depending on what your pictures are, you might even be able to use more on this layout than what I used. Okay, and now to the 49 and Market pack. And this pack of ephemera and words is amazing. There are so many, so many good words in here. I used crazy, sweetest, and together, best, I used good, I used amazing, I used a big red heart, I don't think I used any more cursive words, I can move those out of the way. I used another red heart down here. I used a little red heart up here. Okay, and then I used the word time for times for good times. I used the word happy, which I don't even see. I must have dumped it out. That's okay. I'll use another word in place of it. I'll use here. I used the word today, and I think, oh, I used the word loved on this side. Yeah. Okay, that's about all I used. So I can put the rest of these off to the side as well. There's so many embellishments in this package too. You can use them on so many more layouts. So let's get these adhered down. The first thing that I did is I kind of grounded this little cluster up here with this piece of the tag that I had cut. And then I also stuck this little map of the sticking out. 
and I grounded the top with this little lemonade. And then hanging off the map, I put this hat to make it look like it was kind of hanging off the map. And this dragonfly up here. Great. Now, ah, got little fat sunglasses. Just things that represented summer that made sense with my pictures that I used on this layout. I used a geotag because we were on vacation and out of town. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with, I'm gonna use Eileen's tacky glue for these chipboard pieces because I think it will adhere them just fine. And I will come in and add good times. And then the word best. I'm gonna kind of ground it over here on that tag. And the word here. Okay, and that little cluster is done. And th this background paper is so amazing because um, it's just so detailed and it's already looks like mixed media on the back of it that you don't need to add splatters or anything to the back of this of this paper. Um, it is like done for you. So if you like the look of mixed media, but you're not very confident in your mixed media skills, I would say this is definitely the kit for you because it looks like mixed media without any of the stress that you might feel creating mixed media. And I'm just gonna put some glue on the bottom of this word together. Oh, I forgot a heart up at the top. I'll have to go in and add that because it's just gonna overlap on this little chipboard wood, whatever it is down there. And then I can glue my hearts on. And then if you wanted to add journaling and a date to this layout, this is an amazing place right here to add all those things. It's, it's a little place where your eyes are resting. It gives some space to add journaling and a date, etc. right there. It will be perfect. And we are going to move to the other half of this layout now. I'm gonna put this off to the side to dry. And I'm going to grab the pieces that we need for the other half of the layout. So of course we're starting with a gutted, the gutted piece of orange. And we are going to put this right on top, just like that. grab our three pictures so we can kind of lay them out how we want them and these two strips and I am again gonna tear these just like I did on the other side just to bring that texture over to this side of the layout too you don't have to tear them you could punch them with a border punch that would look cute you could leave them just square like they are that would look cute if you are going to tear them tear up towards you especially on this orange one so that the white core shows and if your tear is looking too much, too pointy and bumpy, like mine just did right there, because I'm kind of going fast, you can just kind of cut the points off roughly. Not, not too much the same, otherwise it will not look very organic. It will look like it's cut. All right, and then we can start placing things down to go. And on this one, I just left a little of this blue showing and that's how I knew where to adhere this orange layer. So I wanted just a little bit of that blue to be peeking out. And then I put this one off-centered right above it, 
just like that. And then my three photos, I kind of wanted them overlapping each other. The middle one is overlapping the two side ones. So when I get them laid out pretty good and I have them at an angle, you can put them square if you want or you can put them kind of angled like I am. My two end ones are kind of angled. The one in the middle is more straight up and down, pretty straight up and down. Okay, so there's how the pictures lay. And then we've got this tag that we cut and it's going to serve as a base up at the top for an embellishment, little embellishment cluster right there. And then down here, I'm gonna put the Hello Summer right there, and I'm going to tuck this a little bit in there, just like that. So, because it needs, this embellishment can be grounded by tucking right underneath the top of the photos, so it looks grounded there. And then this one can go next, and I like overlapping them because it makes it look layered a little bit more to me, like that. And then down here, it says staying cool, and it's, it's like a speech bubble, but I don't care for the speech bubble part, so I'm just going to make it peeking out from under there, just like that. And then this little avocado. Okay, the next thing, almost all of this that's left, oh, except for this, we'll put that on last. Almost all of this that's left, that's left is the chipboard pieces. So we'll start putting those on, again with Eileen, or yeah, Eileen's tacky glue. And again, I'm just gonna kind of glue on the bottom of these letters because it's gonna overlap onto this wood banner. And then the word sweetest. And you could, again, use any combination of words and ephemera from these ephemera embellishment packs. And all of the phrases and words are very summery. So I think they can go with all kinds of different layouts. They can probably even go with layouts not of summer, um, but other times of the year. But they really lend themselves to the summer vibe. Okay, and then and then we just need to get this little geotag down. And we are done with the right side of this layout. And again, since this background paper was so amazing and had such detail in it, this layout just came together really fast and it's gorgeous. And I just love that all that new 49 and Market line that um, the Spectrum Sherbert line is just beautiful. So I couldn't wait to put together a kit with it. But I will put still pictures at the end of this layout with some close-ups of the embellishment clusters. You also have pictures on the bottom of your instructions. There's pictures on our website underneath this listing, which is called Midsummer Dream. And we would love if you would join our Facebook community group at Not Just For Boys Kit Club Community, where our design team will share their unique layouts with this kit and you can share your layouts, either if you made them just like mine or if you made your own thing, we would love to see it. Okay, thanks guys, have a great day, bye.